next part is performing operations with scientific notation. So if you are in 0028, you can stop watching right now. The rest of this is actually stuff from MAT 1033. So for you 1033 people, you have to be able to perform operations with scientific notation. Sometimes the problems are already written in scientific notation, and then sometimes a little bit later on you're going to see some that are not. So first off, I suggest you take this problem the way it's written and rearrange the problem so that like items are near each other. What I mean by that is you got a 3, you have a 4.3. Put those near each other. So this is 3 times 4.3. And just kind of stick that out by itself. Times. Then put your exponent stuff together. 10 to the 12th times 10 to the negative 6. So here it is written a little more neatly. I've got it rearranged. So there's your plain old numbers. There's your exponent stuff. Then logic would say we need to do this arithmetic here. So use your calculator to do the first part. You can just type this into the calculator the way it is. And then use your exponent law here. Well, 3 times 4.3 on the calculator is just 12.9. And then you have to know your exponent laws. When you are multiplying these with a common base, keep the base and add the exponents. 12 plus negative 6 is actually a 6. So there it is nicely. But then you need to put your answer in scientific notation. 12.9 is not in scientific notation. Forget about that 10.6 for a second. So do these steps like we did at the beginning of the video. I need to scan in from the left, put my imaginary right there. This creates 1.29 times 10 to the what power? Well, that imaginary is going to have to move one place to the right. So that right there is my scientific notation for the 12.9. But this 10 to the 6 is still sitting there. So now I need to use my exponent laws again and put that together. So this is 1.29 times 10 to the 7th. That is your answer in scientific notation. And all of these in Math Lab are going to ask you to put your answer in scientific notation. So same process here, a little different exponent law. Rearrange the problem so that your like items are near each other. So this is what I've done. I've written 2 to the 3rd times 10 to the 4th raised to the 3rd. Then do your arithmetic. It says use your calculator, but you probably don't need your calculator for that. 2 to the 3rd is just 8. And then exponent law here, this is a different law. You are raising a power to a power, so you multiply the exponents. We keep the base and multiply the exponents. And our last step says put it in scientific notation. Well, we lucked out. That happens to be in scientific notation. So there's your answer. You might think, oh, I have to write it as 8.0. You don't have to. You can, but you don't have to. So there's our answer in scientific notation. A division problem, same thing. I want to rearrange this so that my like stuff is together. So I'm going to write this on top of each other and this on top of each other, which is my next step here. And then let your calculator do that's arithmetic. And this is 0.9. 8.1 divided by 9 is 0.9. This is your exponent law, which says keep the base and subtract the exponents. So we keep the base of 10, subtract the exponents. That's negative 7 minus 5 is what gives me negative 12. This is not in scientific notation yet. 0.9 needs to be written into scientific notation. So I have to scan in from the left, and there's my first non-zero digit, and I'm going to put my imaginary. Let me rewrite it over here a little bit bigger. Here's 0.9. I'm scanning in from the left and I'm putting my imaginary right there. So this is now the number 9 or 9.0. How does that red need to move to line up with that original blue? It needs to move one place back to the left times that 10 to the negative 12 that's already sitting there. It's going to give me 9 times 10 to the keep the base and add the exponents. Negative 1 plus negative 12 is negative 13. So there's our answer in scientific notation. All right, this is different because the original problem is not in scientific notation to begin with. We've got to take all three of these and put these in scientific notation. So you can stop the video and see if you can put these in scientific notation on your own. And then go to the next screen, which is this. This, this is all of these numbers written in scientific notation. Then, like we've done on the last ones, rearrange the problem so that your like items are near each other. So I'm going to get this plain old number, this plain old number, 
and this plain old number, and they're all going to go in one fraction. And then all of the powers of 10 are going to go in another fraction. So that's this problem. And we know from the last problems we did, we want to let the calculator do this and let our exponent laws take care of this. Now this is kind of nice. 10 to the third over 10 to the third just cancels out. We can just get rid of those. So there's really no big exponent law we have to do on that. 2.2 times 3 divided by 1.1 on your calculator just gives you 6. And then we already canceled that out times 10 to the negative 4. This is a, a longer one. We're back to problems that are in scientific notation already. So I'm rearranging the problem so that my like terms are near each other. And that's just pulling out all of the numbers and putting them down here. Notice something very important. Because the bottom is going to be a product, I need to put that in parentheses when I enter it in the calculator. And then here's all of my powers of 10. Something different happens on this one. When you type this in the calculator, you get this big decimal. All the other ones we've done so far have come out nice and neat. Well, I wrote all the digits down for right now, but your math lab instructions will say to you round to three decimal places. I'll worry about that rounding in a couple minutes. So this is your decimal from just typing this in the calculator. As I stated before, be sure you put this product in parentheses. Now let's deal with this. This is just exponent loss. We're going to keep the 10 to the 16th up there for right now. And on the bottom, this is a product which says keep the base and add the exponents. Negative 9 plus negative 18 is negative 27. Now this is our quotient rule which says keep the base and subtract the exponents. And that is 16 minus negative 27. And minus and minus gives us a plus, and that's what's going to give us 10 to the 43rd. So that's an answer so far, but it's not in scientific notation. And then we're going to deal with this rounding situation. This right here has got to be put in scientific notation. So I scan from the left. I put my imaginary decimal point right there. And this is now going to be 3.06001691, etc. But this is where I'm going to deal with this round of three decimal places. What that means is we want three numbers after the decimal point. So this is 3.060, that's my three decimal places, times 10 to the, well, the red imaginary decimal point has to move back two places to the left, which gives me a negative 2 exponent, times the 10 to the 43rd that's already there, putting this together, we will have 10 to the 41st, because this is keep the base and add the exponents, negative 2 plus 43 is 41, and we will keep this 3.060. Even though 3.06 is the same as 3.060, the directions say round to three decimal places, so they are looking for three numbers after the decimal point. So this is what you would have to enter for MATLAB.